Wanderlust Tours has been guiding outdoor trips such as moonlight kayaking, snowshoe adventures, and cave explorations around Central Oregon since 1993. These are activities anybody could do on their own, but most people have no idea where to go, have the proper equipment, knowledge, or experience to get there and back safely. It's all part of Wanderlust Tours' um, Art and Nature uh, series that we do. And I've always reckoned that um, art is inspired by the natural world and what better place to bring various forms of art. So Wanderlust Tours endeavors to share beautiful voices such as Ben Camerata. We have known of the cave out here at Pronghorn for many years. It's a private cave. No one gets to come into this cave. And so we thought, let's bring the voices down underneath the earth. And oh my goodness, when we um, uh, brought Ben Camerata in here for the first time just to do some practicing, um, we kind of hit different spots all throughout the cave. And when we got to this particular spot with a ceiling that's 14 feet high, um, their voices began to ring out and the crispness of their voices just said, oh my gosh, that's the spot. I was amazed. Uh, there's no reverb at all. It's just it clear is, sound. It is clear and beautiful, and it takes amazing people to make that happen. But um, indeed, it was a, it was an incredible venue, as I guess I thought it would be. We've been big fans of Camerata since they began, and to hear those voices in the cave in this natural setting, it was so heavenly and ethereal. It was, I mean, from their first note, I started crying. It was just beautiful. When we first started, we brought um, Les Stroud, who uh, is Survivor Man. Um, and during all of his um, experiences out in the natural world, he began to write music about the natural world. And so we, uh, we paddled kayaks across a lake one day and sat in hot springs as Les Stroud regaled us with his magnificent music that he had written. And then we partnered with Ben Camerata and we went out to the snow um, on a February day and, and it was snowy and wonderful. And we built a snow stage for the team to sing from and we built like stadium seating up a uh, draw and so everyone was looking down on the singers and uh, as the snow fell from the sky and the wind whipped through the trees up above us 150 feet up um, uh, the clarity of their voices on that day rang out beautifully. I started in a landscape to bring together the two things that I love most playing classical music and being outdoors Wanderlust Tours Art in Nature series has hosted outdoor concerts with pianist Hunter Nowak, who performs on a baby grand piano in stunning natural venues, such as 8,000 feet up the side of Mount Bachelor. Seeing the whole thing in a cave was, uh, was very special. I didn't realize how special it would be because uh, I didn't even know this cave existed. A place like this is a treasured spot and very few people ever get to see something like this. This cave was found in 2004, um, and it was up to that time a geologic wonder that had never been known to humankind. So in the process of building Pronghorn, they had to do some blasting, and the blasting inadvertently blew through the top of a cave, and that enables us to come down here and, and share people a, you know, a sacred spot. When they completely eliminated the lights, it was I don't know, it's really hard to describe because it was such a visceral experience. I don't think there's words for hearing that music in complete darkness. I'm Brooks Navely for The Great Outdoors.